Part 2. Crimson Flower. Great Tree Moon. Field of Revenge. With the capture of Aryan Road complete, the Imperial Army moves to invade the Kingdom capital. They plot to send troops toward now vulnerable House Fraldarius territory and plan to attack Ferdiad from two sides. So, Aryan Road has fallen. Roderig, Felix, Ingrid. I swear that I will not allow your deaths to be in vain. The scouts have just now returned. Seems the Imperial Army is marching toward the Kingdom capital. Are you certain about this, Dimitri? As King, do you think it wise to intercept them yourself? No need to worry yourself. Even if I am defeated, the Blathed Bloodline will live on. And the Kingdom's territory has never been rich in resources. If the castle falls under siege, our loss is inevitable. I will deploy my army onto the plains and wait for the enemy. Please, position your forces so that they can flank the Imperial Army. Yes. Given the present situation, making the plains our battlefield is a logical choice. I have no objection. However... There is only one person I am after. I have no interest in any other prey. I will take you at your word. Erasing the other child's existence is my task, and mine alone. I will get you back, Mother. I promise. What do you think, Lady Edelgard? Will they shut themselves inside of Ferdiad? They will try to intercept us. Of course, Ferdiad will not fall so easily. Even so, if we were to cut off their supply line with a large army, it would eventually fall. It makes much more sense for them to wager everything on a victory at the Tail Team Plains. The same plains where the so-called Divine Saros defeated Nemesis, the King of Liberation, in a comeback victory over a thousand years ago. And about 400 years ago, the hero Lu created the kingdom by defeating the Emperor of the Time on those very plains. Their goal must be to recreate that scene. Yes, I suppose so. Although the Imperial Army is powerful, if we were to compare the strength of our best to the best of the Knights of Seros, we would likely come up short. The Kingdom's Army and House Blathed are also renowned for their unmatched persistence. On the battlefield, it can be assumed that their one and only goal will be to strike you down. Are you telling me to stay off the battlefield? Naturally. You are their aim, Your Majesty. You must know it only makes sense to keep you out of their reach. And you must know that, at a time like this, I absolutely cannot withdraw. <sighs> of course I know that. That is why I will refrain from asking you again to stay away from the battlefield. The Immaculate One, descendants of the Ten Elites, and other extremely fearsome foes await us. But with the help of our friends, we have a chance of defeating them. We're the only ones who can. Within our group, I am included among those with the kind of strength we need to win. I absolutely will not remove myself from the front lines. Professor, you have that same strength as well, whether or not you realize it yet. Please, don't get yourself killed trying to protect me. Until the very end, we'll survive this trial together. Understood? Sorry. It looks like I'm going to have to leave you now. One day, I hope you'll give this ring to someone you love, as well as I love her.
With Aryan Road behind them, the Black Eagle Strike Force marches north to Ferdiat. They plan for the Imperial Army, stationed in former Alliance territory, to take over Fraldarius land, so they are able to attack Ferdiad from two directions. King Dimitri anticipates the Imperial Army's strategy, leading the Kingdom Army and Rea's Knights of Seros out of Ferdiad, and prepares to intercept the Imperial Army at the Teen Plains. Mother, oddly, the rain has come to fall yet again at this place. Once again, I will fight to take you back. The one who keeps me from seeing you again. I will be sure to return them to the earth from whence they came. The foolish descendant of Hresvelk, who bears her fangs at me, will suffer the same fate. Lady Rhea. Call me Seros now. I am no longer the Archbishop, but rather a warrior. Yes, Lady Seros. Because of the rain, we have not yet confirmed the position of our enemy, or of the Kingdom Army. Search the route to Ferdiad. It is unlikely that they have strayed far from it. When you discover the Imperial Army's main force, commence the attack. If the Kingdom's army has already engaged, Flank the enemy as planned. As you wish. Wait for me, dear child. I will be paying you a visit soon. When this sword has been plunged into your chest, yes, that is the very moment I long for. I was hoping they would strike the church first. We must have miscalculated the rate of their advance. Reorganize the formation. We have no choice but to buy time until the church arrives. It will be a long battle. Are you afraid to do? No. So long as I am at your side, there is nothing to fear. I can always rely on you. Just watch, my friend. We will prevail. I will not fail to get revenge for all who have fallen. I would follow you anywhere, Your Majesty. Good luck out there. You as well, Dudu. You as well. Your Majesty, for you, I will. A flag of blue is flapping in the rain. It must be the Kingdom Army. Yes. It seems that King Dimitri is leading the troops himself. However, the Knights of Seros have yet to be seen. Perhaps they have split up. I can't imagine that Dimitri would leave the capital to the church and face us with the Kingdom Army alone. He must be planning to use the church to gain the upper hand in battle. With the rain, that must be difficult to coordinate. Still, the Knights of Saros must be around here somewhere. And we should be on alert for attacks from the side and rear as well. Inform the entire army. Yes, sir. Now that I think about it, the Kingdom's army is quite different than it once was. They have taken a position of interception. In the past, the King would have introduced himself before beginning a fair fight. A fair fight? The words alone remind me of how he once was. Don't you agree, Professor? Yes. He often spoke of such things back at the monastery. Well... At the present, the words fair fight do not seem to suit Dimitri anymore. He dislikes making victims of his friends. But other than that, he will do most anything these days. If he stops at nothing to continue the onslaught, I cannot imagine what will become of the battlefield. True. As soon as we can take our battle formation, we must advance. Dimitri, that past you cling to, I will soon free you from it.
Ah, here you are, Edelgard. At your eternal resting place. You have trampled and stolen and blinded yourself to the truth. Today, I will have vengeance for all you have done. With this battle, the main force of the kingdom will be annihilated. Leave no enemy general alive, least of all King Dimitri. We are uncertain of the enemy's plans, so let us advance our troops with caution. The Knights of Seraphs have yet to show themselves. They will join the battle at some point. Be ready. What's my strategy? for anything. I will see this war through. Progress didn't require so much work. I do this for all of us. Back to the fray. If I live, I fight. Fighting. I'll cut a bloody path. Don't let this chance for vengeance go to waste. Glory to the flag of the knights. Good fortune to his majesty. Fortune to Fargus! That kingdom soldier just changed into a demonic beast. Did Talus? No. This is something simpler. This is the work of a crest stone. But why? I gave them crest stones from the castle vaults. You fool! Why did you do that? If we lose here, the kingdom falls. It's our only hope. You call this hope? 
Well, we must now claim victory so their deaths were not in vain. Yes, Your Majesty. I am with you. Don't worry, everyone. The reinforcements have arrived. Reinforcements. We're in danger. We must defeat the enemy's generals before we're overwhelmed. going to plan. Time for pity. Come <laughs> on. 
Well done. You will never understand the burden His Majesty carries on his shoulders. It makes me so sad to fight against you. But I suppose that's how things go when you're at war. Why follow an Emperor who would start such a war? Could turn the tides. Mercedes. Were it not for me, you wouldn't have gotten caught up in all this. And you might still be alive. So what are you waiting for? 
Let's finish this today. I was such a fool. So, this is how it ends. Forgive me, your majesty. I'm going on ahead. Thank you, Sylvain. Until we meet again on the other side. Impressive. How could I be late when I finally have the opportunity to destroy the Fallen One? Oh, this rain. It is the lamentation of my mother. Observe. I shall not fail in restoring balance. I will see this war through.
hide. Hard work is a friend to count on. going down. That's a win for everyone. Prepare to die! Hardly worth the effort. An ancestor of the Horesbanks, who became Adrestia's first emperor. He saved me, supported me, gave his all to the cause of defeating Nemesis. That I should find myself here at Teltine, striking down his sign. I don't advise presumptions, Rhea. I will not die by your hand. Is B. I lost to that thief. Unacceptable. Watch out, Lady Rhea. Please retreat. <laughs> The Church of Seros has fallen back, but we have no such luxury. Everyone, fight for your lives! Victory to Fargus! For the Empire! Yeah. I'll 
return the favor. their weak spots. The one true king, Dimitri! To do, I will fight by your side until the bitter end. As long as I am with you, this lance of mine will know nothing of defeat!
plan into action. Live, I fight. Bridget Pro! 
to do. You fool. See this war through. Continue to conquer? Continue to kill? Must you continue to reconquer? Continue to kill in retaliation? I will not stop. There is nothing I would not sacrifice to cut a path to Fodlin's new dawn. Enough of this madness! This future of yours is built on a foundation of corpses and tears! Die just yet. <laughs> Edelgard, you. I will kill you. You will know the regret of my father, who was killed for you. Of my stepmother, who was slain by your own daughter. You will bow your head before all of the lives you trampled for your ideals, before you die in misery. Your obsession with me is appalling. If you were a normal human, you would most certainly have died already. Farewell, King of Delusion. If only we were born in a time of peace, you might have lived a joyful life as a benevolent ruler. <laughs> to the fires of eternity with you, El. Lady Rhea, King Demetria has fallen in battle. The kingdom's army has retreated. It is impossible to preserve the front line. Everyone withdraw immediately. Fall back to Ferdiad. The goddess is watching over us. 
If we hold strong, we will surely be saved. Understood. Retreat! Why do you insist on being such a loathsome obstacle? You stole my mother's heart and wield the sword of the Creator, just like that savage King Nemesis. I swear, with these very hands, I will take her back. Until then, wait for me, dear mother. Rhea. She is our enemy, but I must admit that she plays her cards magnificently. You mean using the goddess's name in order to boost morale? That's true, but she also shows great skill in devising her tactics. Using the bewildered Kingdom army as a shield while she and the knights retreated. If they ran all the way back to Ferdiad, it will be very difficult to pursue them. Yes, together we'll end this once and for all. For all the lives lost in battle, by our allies and foes alike. And for Dimitri as well. Yes, the thirst for revenge that imprisoned him was the result of my uncle's strategy. He believed that I was the cause of everything, and he lost sight of his path as king. There was nothing I could do to save him, and so, the very least I could do was... No, the Edelgard who shed tears died many years ago. Everything that's happened, it's all just part of the ebb and flow of history. The tragedy of Duskar, our days at the Academy, father's death, and the five years you were gone. After all of that, at long last, we're here, at this point in time. I hope you'll stay by my side until the very end. It's time for humanity to take this world back.